guys how's it going back to work today just got home uh yeah so good to be back to work it's thursday uh probably gonna try and work over the weekend and make up some of the time i lost i know we've got some there's there's plenty of work to do so it's all good we got something cool coming into the shop tomorrow as well so I'll show you that um before i get into what i'm doing today uh please subscribe like the channel all those good things and uh don't be shy leave comments down below in the previous video um <laughs> i mentioned how i'd smash my truck into my car what a it's still pissed off about it but uh a friend of mine uh who also watches the uh the channel uh saw the video and i got a call from him last night and apparently his brother has a brand new nos right side eight foot box side original original chevy stuff oem um so yeah an nos box side very cool uh, it doesn't have any gas door opening or anything like that on it so i was thinking about different things and uh well what i'll probably do is just uh, grab the camera we'll go out take a look at the mess i made and uh what my plan is to fix it and uh yeah we'll go from there so let's get to it <laughs> all right so as i mentioned in my previous video uh my wife had the car pulled a little bit further to the edge of the road then in a little bit more in the driveway and uh, i was just flying in there just going to zip right in and uh yeah i caught the front bumper or the front fender rather with uh my box side and uh actually i totaled the box side it's it's cooked uh the fender's fixable but uh, i'll get into that in another video the car's not even here the wife has it at work and uh, uh so I, I can't even show it to you but i will down the road uh i have a different plan for that as well i figure if i've got to either buy a new fender or repair that one i've always wanted to go with the uh dart uh swinger front end you know two little scoops and uh, it's a much nicer and sportier looking unit so uh i'm gonna do that um i think i'll just hold off we can run it the way it is for now whatever it doesn't look that bad but uh uh the car's pretty tough i'll tell you that because the box is mangled to hell so let's take a look at it Oh, there's the point of contact. Nice green paint from the scamp. And uh, yeah, there was a patch paneling. You can barely see the line going in here. And it's coming apart. That line continues up here. So I knocked that apart. And then this is where it's really bad. I mean, I could spend weeks on that trying to fix that. And I'll, I'll be getting nowhere. There's actually a hole tore right in it. So. And it's, you know, it is super wavy now, all the way down. This is just like plenty of grief, nothing but pain and misery to fix that. So, uh, yeah, I have a different plan. So I'll get into that in just a minute. Okay, so this is my other square body. And basically, the box in this thing is mint. Uh, the floor is really good. So now what I'm thinking is I'll take this box, put it on my truck, and switch the other one back over here. I can put the box side on and finish the bodywork and all that crap later. So, uh, yeah, that's the plan. Even the floor, like this thing underneath has all been epoxy coated and everything else, it's it's mint. So uh, there's not a mark in the in the bed at the, on the surface on the top. Uh, so yeah, easy fix box will be done in an afternoon right it's only a couple of mods i gotta have to do and get into that right now so i'd already made a patch for the the problem with my my truck the one i'm driving is the gas tank's on the wrong freaking side um i guess it was dual tank at one time or something or the guy rigged it up whoever had it before me so i don't i've already made a patch 
like this thing here has been patched has a five and a half foot patch that goes all the way across and down to here i've done all that work already uh, i've got one one minor touch up to do there's there's the remnants of the masking tape i left to mark it um and i've already made a patch to close in the gas door so i can do that no big deal um i do have another tailgate but i'll use the one that's that i have the gold one there so what i do have to do is on this side i just got to drill like a two inch hole here i'll measure it off wherever my gas filler is and i was thinking of taking a, a harley tank and cutting the bung out of it and attaching it to my filler tube and then get a flush mount round gas cap nice little chrome one you know you press the button it pops out you turn it off or twist it off put your gas in twist it on push the button back in and it sits nice and flush nice clean look and call it done and that's it so my box problem is solved like i said the floor in this thing is is really mint it's, it's dirty there's some leaves and shit in it there's no holes no holes anywhere so uh it's a good box and just saves me a ton of work for now <laughs> so when i go to put the fix this other box i'll use the the good box side it has no hole in it on the other side and i'll have the the gas door i'll take all that assembly out and use it on the other box simple so there you go that's my plan i think it's a good one people are probably going to yell and scream at me but whatever um yeah my big issue now is that i've got to be able to get the 51 chevy running so i can take it out of the garage and do the box swap because i need the hoist to do that so that's not a big deal um i'll get into that in a little bit all right so if you remember a little while back i stole the transmission cooler uh transmission hill cooler out of the 51 and put it in my scamp uh because i put a rad in it from a 56 chevy that has standard transmission had no hookups for transmission cooler so when i picked up all my junk here the other day a chum transmission cooler nice little one got to straighten out some fins and stuff i'm going to do that and uh, swap it back out get the my cooler back out put it in the 51 rig up the ignition and that truck is moving and then i can do my swap roux on the box so what i want to do though i want to get this thing still uh at least sealed in epoxy so like it's almost done if i can finish this thing off get it in epoxy and just put it away for now until I'm ready to put in the new uh, new box side on the other truck. Easy peasy, right? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Everything's easy if you say it fast. But anyway, that's the plan. So I gotta finish up the bodywork on this thing, get it ready to spray in epoxy. That's the plan. On the weekend, I'll do the transmission cooler swap, get that Chevy running, 51 that is, and get it out of the shop. At the same time, that also allows me to paint my hood and uh, a few other bits and pieces for the 51. I can have the truck out of the shop and have to worry about overspray and all that crap. So uh, it's a win-win. That's my plan. That's where I'm going with it. And uh, that's what I'm going to do. So let's get to her. Okay, even though I don't need a patch for this opening anymore, I'm still going to make one because I need one for the other box. And I'm going to put the original gas door on here when I do the swap roof. So uh, if the patch I have, if it fits this opening, it's going to fit the other one. So I just got to finish it off and fit it nice, nice. And uh, then I can just put it aside for when I, I switch the boxes over. So I'm going to set up the camera and we'll finish up the patch. And then I'll fit it in place and see how everything looks. And then I'll get on uh, sanding the rest of this thing out and getting ready for epoxy. So there we go. All right, so here's my patch. It's got to round the corners off. And round this off a bit, clean it all up, fit it in place, make sure she works. Uh, might be a little bit of tweaking or whatever. I just want to have it ready to go. So, uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and change the camera angle and we'll do that. Uh, I did call, like I said, it was my chum's brother that has the uh, box side. I did call him last night and he's going to hang on to it for me. I told him it's a done deal. I'm taking it. Um, so I just need, need a couple of weeks to scrape some cash together. 
uh, because the cash that I have is going in something that I'm getting delivered on Monday uh, from out west. It's very cool. I'll show you what that is when it gets here. That'll be in another video. Um, it was too good a deal. I actually bought this truck or agreed to the, to the deal last August, and it's just coming now. So, um, yeah, I got to make sure I have the cash aside for it, and uh, the box side will just have to sit where it is right now. He's going to hang on to it. He has no problem with that. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get this patched up. I'll just change the angle here a little bit. Boom, there we go. You know me, safety first. I'll grab a sharpie and see how this fits. Mark anything that I have to change. So that's what she looks like. Check it out. Alright. Pretty good right there. That's good. That's good there. Off the bottom edge. Yeah, I should do the trick. Take that off, we'll try it again, and then we'll put the patch away. Okay, 
So took a little bit off and yeah, that's gonna fit perfect. Now there is a slight bend in it. I don't know if you can see that, but it's got a bit of a curve off the bottom. So I put that in as well. So this is pretty much ready to weld in on the other box. So I'll just throw it in the, throw it in a spot where I'll never lose it. <laughs> yeah, right. And uh, when I do the swap roux, we'll weld this in, steal the gas door off the other one, put it on here. Call it done. All right, so I'm going to finish off my evening by uh, sanding out this mud here. And uh, I've only got maybe an hour before it's too dark to see what the hell I'm doing. So I might not even finish. I'm not going to show you all the sanding because you've seen me do it a million times. But I'll do a little bit. What I should show you actually is, is a cardboard tube, pretty solid tube. And I just wrap my paper around it. And when you're getting into the curved areas, it works out pretty good. So now I'll show one area right now. Back the camera up a little bit. And we'll tilt her down. There we go. So this is right on the curved area here. And then the old X pattern every time. dark it is here that's a low spot so I need some more mud here so I'll have to put a coat on it leave that for now until I want to mix some more mud and then uh yeah then I'll just carry on so fun right <laughs> sanding is my life okay well it's already starting to get a little bit dark out so uh pack it in for the evening on that thing uh I'll probably spend a little bit of time straightening out uh, all the little fins on this thing just use a little screwdriver there and straighten them out as best I can so it doesn't look too too bad and it helps with cooling as well when they're all bunched together it doesn't do a very good job so you know you want to make sure they're separated so I, I'll play around with that while I watch a little YouTube or something uh, speaking of YouTube once again my one of my viewers has come through and helped me out uh, Geez, I don't know how many times that is now, but uh, that's freaking awesome. So, uh, one of the pluses of having a YouTube channel, trust me, it's not for the money. <laughs> <There's>, <laughs> you could not buy two days worth of groceries with the money you make in a month on this thing. So, don't worry about that. But uh, I don't, I'm not in it for the money. I'm in it for because it's fun, and I get to meet cool people and talk to cool people, and uh, it's 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 a blast. So, uh, yeah, once again, please subscribe. And uh, if you're not doing anything else, get out in the garage and build something, man. Later, guys.